have y is equal to 3 sine of 2 times x minus pi over 4. And we want to graph the sine function with multiple transformations. So the first thing we need to do is to first graph the original sine graph. So the original sine graph is y is equal to sine x. So we're going to go ahead and graph. And here we have an x scale of pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And here we have a high at 1 and a low at negative 1. Sine of 0 is 0, sine of pi over 2 is 1, sine of pi is 0, sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, and sine of 2 pi is 0. Okay, so we know that, right? So my original graph is going to look like this. Okay, so now we have something to model. So now we need to apply the transformations that we're given. So here we have the form y is equal to a sine of b x minus c plus d. Where a is 3, b is equal to 2, c is equal to pi over 4. Be careful here, we need to flip the signs. And our d is equal to 0, okay? So a is our vertical stretch slash compress, and it's also known as our amplitude. b is our horizontal stretch slash compress. And c will determine whether the graph shifts right or left. And D determines whether the graph will shift up or down. So now we need to find the period. So the period is going to be 2 pi over B, which is equal to 2 pi over 2, which is equal to pi. So now we need to figure out our X scale. This is where some of my students may run into a little bit of a challenge. So be sure to take note. So our X scale is going to be period over 4, which is equal to pi over 4. So now we are going to begin our graph at C. So we say begin at C. And our C is pi over 4, okay? And now we're going to add increments of pi over 4 on our scale. So starting at C, we're going to say pi over 4 plus another pi over 4. So C will be the first pi over 4. And we are adding increments of pi over 4, which is the second pi over 4 here. So pi over 4 plus another pi over 4 is equal to 2 pi over 4. We will reduce our fractions at the end. 2 pi over 4 plus another pi over 4 is equal to 3 pi over 4. Again, we are bringing this 2 pi over 4 over and we're adding another increment of pi over 4. So now we have 3 pi over 4 plus another pi over 4, which is equal to 4 pi over 4. So we'll do that like that. And 4 pi over 4 plus another pi over 4 is equal to 5 pi over 4. And that is enough increments here to graph our sine graph. And now I'll just go ahead and reduce my fractions. 2 pi over 4 reduces to pi over 2. 3 pi over 4 does not reduce any further. 4 pi over 4 reduces to pi. And 5 pi over 4 does not reduce any further. So now we can go ahead and draw our new graph. And I'm going to put my x scale on the graph starting at C. So my first increment is pi over 4. My next increment will be pi over 2. My next increment over will be 3 pi over 4. And our next 
increment will be pi. And our last one will be 5 pi over 4. And remember, our high, our new high, is going to be a high of 3 and a low of negative 3. So we're going to go 3 and negative 3. So now all we're going to do is model our original graph, starting at 0 shifted pi over 4 units to the right. So we are going to put a, a dot here. Our next increment over, we're going to put it at our high location, just like our original graph. And then the next increment over, we are going to put it back at zero. And at pi, we are going to go at negative three. And at five pi over four, we're going to go back at zero. And so then all we're going to do is connect the dots. So our graph will look like Okay, and that is how you grab the sine function with multiple transformations. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember that you are awesome!